Hi everyone, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 21 of MVC interview questions. In this video, we'll discuss about output caching in ASP.NET MVC. In interview, they will ask the question in different ways. What is cache filter? Or uh, um, what is result filters in ASP.NET MVC? So we already know, uh, uh, in the previous video, I explained about filters. So here in MVC, browser will send the request to the server. Controller will accept the request. Controller will invoke action method. Action method will invoke view of view of will render the output back to the browser. This is what happening actually. Browser will send the request to the server. Who will accept the request means controller will accept the request. Controller will invoke action method. So filters are used to execute some logic either before executing action method or after executing action method. Is it clear? So what is output output caching? It is a result filter. This filter will get executed after executing action method. So generally caching is a server side state management technique which is used to maintain the state of the response within a particular time period. If you want, I will show you one small example with this caching. Let us see. Here uh, I, in MVC, I open one controller and action method. Here I'll try to um, uh, declare some variable. I want to store some data. Current system data and time I want to store in one variable. View data of x is equal to how to get the current system date and time system dot date time dot now dot to string it will get the current system date along with time so right click on index add view right click on index add view is it clear so here you can create the view index dot cshtml you can create one view yes sir no and here i want to display the um, system date and time at the rate and here i'll try to open one h1 tag at the rate view data here i'll try to give something like this here i'll try to give view data of message i want to display one message here here you can use here you can use at the rate open h1 tag h1 tag and here within this h1 I'll try to open uh, view data. It is not coming here. Declare one variable string s is equal to view data of variable name x dot to string. I'll try to give. And here I'll try to open one h1 tag. Here I'll try to print at the rate yes. Now save it. Debug the program and check the output. I have not applied any filter. Just I have created one controller in that action method. I current system data and time I'm storing in one variable view data and I'm sending the data to the view. In the previous videos, I already explained about what is view data, view bag and temp data. These questions are more than enough to clear the interview, even for experienced person also. Maximum 30 questions will be there. In ASP.NET MVC. So here you see, now I'm trying to run the application it will display the current system date along with time what happened mm, i think some ias problem is there no problem so generally i will try to explain mm, because it is live i cannot waste your time and my time so generally if you try to refresh this space if you try to refresh this space every time the current system date and time will what change but i want to halt the output for a particular time period so what I will do, I'll try to apply some cache filter, output cache. Here I'll try to give duration. Duration is equal to 10 seconds. So what is the meaning of this means? When the request is going to the server, controller will invoke this action method. And um, this action method will get executed. And the current system date and time, it will display in the browser. Up to 10 seconds, the old response only will be maintained. Even when you refresh the page also, you will get the same uh, uh, date and time after 10 seconds again uh, if you continuously refresh the page again after if for every 10 seconds the content will change the date will change so cache filter is also called as result filter is it clear filters are used to execute some logic either before executing action method or after executing action method is it clear so here also uh, you have to apply this one output cache duration is equal to 10 this uh, this filter will be applied after executing this action method and the result will be saved in halt it will halt the output for a particular time period 10 seconds for more videos please like share and subscribe